you are in the place you are because you picked it. Nobody forced you here. You wanted to be here. And that is why you are. The things happening around you are like signals saying you decided to be here. God gave us gifts and talents, plus the potential to do whatever we want. We are all like actors in this big world. Everyone is acting out his or her own story like a movie. Your life is like a movie. Your life is your movie. And you are in charge. Imagine God handed you the script and made you the director. You are the main actor and the world is your audience. We might not know exactly when or where the audition happened. But here we are, acting out our laws. You are playing the lead in your movie. And you have the power to do anything. No one can stop you if you decide, I'm going to do this. Remember, people are watching your movie, your life. You can choose to act poor or rich, sick or well. It's all up to you. So friends, your life is like a movie and you are the star. Our lives are like a movie, a gift from God. We have the freedom to choose and to do whatever we want. Way back, maybe 20 or 30 years ago, people used to talk about the end of the world coming. But now we realize we are already in that time. We are living in the end of time and the things happening around us are signs of that. The Bible mentions that God knew us even before the foundation of the world. He knew us when we were in our mother's womb. But think about it, God didn't know us as gay, lesbian or homosexual. Where did these things come from? It is a question worthy asking. How did this become a part of who you are? And why do you identify with them? That is not who you really are. God did not create homosexuals, lesbians or gays. He made you in his image, honoring that image. Claiming, this is just how I was born and I have the right to do what I feel is a choice. God granted us free will and he won't stop you from choosing to be gay or lesbian. But remember, your choices will be judged at the end of your journey. It is crucial to be careful and wise in what you choose to do. You were not born gay. That is not how God made you. If you identify as gay, it is because you have allowed negative forces to influence your life. Somehow, along the way, you might have been spiritually defeated letting those forces take control. So, I was born gay might not reflect the deeper spiritual struggle you have faced. It is hard to accept but sometimes people feel like being gay is just who they are. However, saying I was born like this doesn't mean it's a matter of choice. Some believe they have struggled with a negative force and it feels like that force won. It is not a sign of weakness, rather it is seen as a spiritual battle where someone fought against something negative and unfortunately that negative gained control. Engaging in behaviors like smoking, drinking or questionable actions is seen as signs of weakness letting these negative forces take control. The message emphasizes waking up spiritually, standing on the teachings of God, fighting against the influences that have taken hold. The call is to be proactive, not just praying or accepting things as they are, but actively declaiming what is perceived to have been stolen or destroyed. It is a call to spiritual awakening and reclaiming control over one's life. It's common for people to say, I can be this way, 
I have rights. However, the message emphasizes that now is not the time for that perspective. It suggested that this is a crucial moment to turn to God and seek clarity. Is this really the life God intended? The narrative extends the metaphor of life as a movie, asserting that we are in, con in the concluding part of our script. Every movie has a climax, but now it's our turn to take the lead in the final scenes. The question posed is whether we will emerge victorious as the star of our movie or let other influences win. The power to change is highlighted. The idea is that you, as the director of your movie, can alter the script, change the storyline, and improve your situation. The emphasis is on recognizing and using the power you have. The influence of negative forces presented as the devil is mentioned as a hindrance to realizing this power. The message encourages individuals not to admire those leading destructive lives but to awaken to their own struggle and the ability to shape their destinies positively. The message underscores the idea that some individuals are like failed projects or movies. They did not successfully direct their movies and someone else is leaving their story because they sold their script. The call is to wake up, not just to oneself but for everyone, saints, brothers, sisters, friends. It is a spiritual awakening emphasizing the agency of the conclusion of our time and the world. The advice is to turn to God in prayer, seeking help in deliverance, and inviting God to take full control of one's life. Friends, as we lap up this message, take a moment to reflect on your life as if you are the director of your own movie. Some might feel like their life is a failed project. Having let negativity take over, now is the time to wake up spiritually. The agency of the times is real, and it is crucial to seek guidance from God. Think of your life as a movie script. You have the power to change the story, to take control of your, of your destiny, Shift away from negative influences, reconnect with your inner strength, and consider the path you want to lead. It is not too late to make a positive change. In these concluding moments, I urge you to pray for guidance, seek divine intervention, and invite God to take full control of your life. The journey is yours to direct, and it is never too late to relight your script for a more purposeful and fulfilling life. Wake up, friends, and embrace the power within you.